motherfucker, Jay Young. You, no, you, you alive, no, motherfucker? I'm, 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 I'm right, right here. Yeah, you good. Yeah, you, 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 you know what it is. Yeah. You might have won that now. Jay Young was 14 more. He broke on the rest of But, hey, it's not a good no, Ryo, you the GOAT, boy. RT, you good, bro? Crazy coming back and crack the sky, he come with fire. Grab a look, yeah, it got a burn, yeah, with fire. Damn, where you be dead at? It's in the Bible. I tell you what you're afraid of. a few questions do you see yourself on this sign he good he good he good yeah, just, hey don't pick it up just look at it take your phone out take a picture or something you good though you good you see yourself on that sign in what way okay on the left side is what god called us on the right side our slave master called us right so when you when you fill out a job application what you put your name, and then when they ask you for your race or ethnicity, what you put? I put, uh, you know. It's okay to say it. We standing bold out here, all right? Right. It's okay to say it. You feel me? Well, see, I'm you, with Indian too, so. Well, okay. You I'm say fine. you mix. So I'm trying all right. to get it all. So to the, to the, so to the so-called, give me numbers. Give me numbers 1 and 18. Yeah, so look, to the so-called white man, they would consider me mixed, right? Because my mom's is Puerto Rican, but my dad would be a so-called African-American. But according to numbers 1 and 18, you go by what your father is. So is your father Indian or is he black? Well, my mom, on my mom's side, her mom is full Cherokee. She's full Cherokee, okay. I can't go say. No, so what about your father? I never met. Uh-uh, uh-uh, motherfucker, Jay Young. You alive, motherfucker? I'm all right. I'm all right. Yeah, you good. I'm all right here 45 years. Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah. You might have won that now. Jay Young was 14 more. He broke on the rest of them. But, hey, it's all good. Okay. Right. So God has been guiding me up here since then. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So just just a quick question. Um, so did your mother ever mention your father to you? Just what do you think he is? We'll go with that. I didn't want her to mention it because God showed me himself who my who my earthly father was. But he didn't want my he didn't want me to meet my earthly father because I didn't want to come he didn't want me to come down here. No, no, no. It's it's, it's a simple question. Do you know you so you don't know who your daddy is? I don't know who my personal flesh dad is, but because he's on So your mom's never told you about your father? The reason why my mom never told me because it was just one of them one night things. Well guess what? Yeah. Your ass from Tribe Judah. I'm gonna be straight. You from Judah. You wanna know why? Cause you act just like us. You feel me? You act just like us, man. Hey, I asked you a question. You still ain't gave me an answer. That's how I know you, Judah. Hey, hey, well, you you playing ring around the roses with me. Look, no, but look at I'm it. But look at it like this. I'm a truthful man. Everybody so I'm a, you good, but listen to me. Listen, listen. So if your mom's was Cherokee Indian, she would fall under gag. You understand? So what we teaching the 12 tribes of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, we all the same people. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. All right, just to show you something real quick. Because I know who my father is, but he didn't raise me. So I can understand where you're coming from. But I know what he looks yeah. like. I know who he is. A lot of us, a lot of us grew up with just our moms. You know what I'm saying? Earthly part. All right, yeah, I, I, I see where you're going. He wanted me to, to be. I've been up here all these years, and let me tell you something. Nobody up there can see anything bad about me. All right, all praise to the Most High. Hey, that's hey, that's a good name. That's in the Bible. So that's a good to, reputation. You understand? I have to say, Read. 
the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people. It says thou, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, thou art an holy people. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God had chosen thee. So the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians was chosen. So I understand what you're saying about the earthly, but if your spirit bear witness and the scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice, Nine times out of ten, you fall under the twelve tribes of Israel. Because if you not Israel, you ain't going to want to hear the word of God. I already know it's something in there inside of you. Because you came over here and gave us some of your time. You understand? Because I do it myself. Right. But I still do it. But it's not in, I'm not holding that part. But it's to show itself. We're going to get you right, right. I'll praise you here for a reason. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people unto himself uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Uh -huh. Is that it? Yes, sir. So read it one more time. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art in holy people. You are in holy people. Read. Meaning separate. We separate. 18 nations in the Bible. All right. 18 nations in the Bible. God chose one. And that's Israel. Read. But thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That are on what? That are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. All right, so you see where I'm going, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians are God's chosen people. And we must repent and come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's why we're on the bottom of society. That's why we the last hired, first fired. Things of that nature. You understand? Cause that, that's just because we, in the in the Torah or the first five books, back in the time of Moses, we promised to keep the commandments. We made a covenant, but we broke that. That's like, that shows you today, we come to modern day, that we are hard-headed, stiff-necked people. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So all these curses, meaning evil things, going to come upon us and overtake us for not keeping the commandments. All right? Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city, huh? and cursed shall thou be in the field. So in cities, you said you moved here, right? So where are you originally from? I'm from Decatur, Alabama. Decatur, Alabama. Alabama. Alabama in 1978. That's what I'm saying. So even, right, so let's think about it like this. Even from Decatur to Clarksville, because I don't call it Fort Campbell, Oak Grove, I call it all Clarksville. Same thing, though. I get where you're going, but from Decatur all the way to Clarksville, our people are cursed, especially down to the deeper down south you go. It's like the more, the more oppressing is, and the worse it gets. All right, read. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Uh -huh. Cursed shall, yeah. curse shall be the fruit of thy body. Uh -huh. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body going into thy children. All right, read. And the fruit of thy land, uh -huh. the increase of thy kind, uh -huh. and the flocks of thy sheep. Jump up to 28. Verse 28, the Lord shall smite thee with madness. You shall do what? The Lord shall smite thee with madness. You said you've been over here for a long time, right? And you know all these people, our people are smitten with madness. They don't know the way. You don't understand? They've been strayed away. They lost, like the Bible said, they lost sheep. All right, read. And blindness and astonishment of heart. Uh -huh. Astonishment of heart, the mind. All right, read. And thou shalt grope at noonday. They groping at noonday. Noonday is daytime. Our people are groping like they ain't, they don't know where to go. It's like they walk around with their eyes closed. They don't know the way. You understand? Read. As the blind grope in darkness. Like a lot of our people turn to drugs, turn to alcohol, things of that nature, because they don't know. They trying to get to the bottom of that bottle because they running from their problems. But when is enough enough is the question. They smoking blunts and then... And eventually the weed don't do enough for them. So they turn to cocaine. Then eventually cocaine don't do enough for them. So then they rock it up. Now the crack cocaine don't do enough for them. And then they rock it up. Okay, now they're doing heroin. What they call it, the H, or they doing meth. Until they ass is dead because they was trying to run from their damn problems. When is enough enough for the black man and the Hispanic man? Read. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. You're not going to prosper. Give me Joshua 1 and 8. You're not going to prosper if you do not keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. 
You understand? I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to the people as well. So just pay attention. Oh, I'm, I'm aware of yeah, I, I got you. I got you. All praises, man. All praises. Read. The book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 8. Read. This is the book of the law. Uh -huh. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. Read it from the top. Read it right. The book of Joshua, chapter 1 and verse 8. Read. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. We must meditate day and night. All right? Yeah, you're looking at a bunch of young men right now, but we study this Bible. Uh, so we, I'm not, I'm, just listen to me. We study this Bible. We come out and teach this Bible. What this Bible say do, we do. What the Bible say don't do, we don't do. You understand? Uh, yeah, you understand. It's just, it's just that I'm a, I'm a very wise. Uh, you very observant. I got you. Yes, yeah, I am. you're a very observant person. I got you. I got you, brother. I got you. You very observant. I see you. Hey, I know where we at. <laughs> you better be observing out here. Yeah, Read. That's why. That's why. That's why you gotta look. Israel nine o'clock. We come to our people. You understand? We done been. We done been the hoods that's worse than this. Trust me. We go. We teach in Nashville. Just in Tennessee, we teach in Memphis, we teach in Knoxville, we teach in Chet. In Alabama, we done taught in Decatur, we in Montgomery, we in Birmingham, we in your home state. Go to Georgia, we in Atlanta, all the way down to Augusta. You understand? Mississippi, we in Jackson, all the way down to the bottom. Right. In Meridian, where it's a small town where they killing each other. Meridian probably about the same size as Clarksville, but it ain't nothing but me and you down there. You might see a few specks here and there. It, it, it ain't like it is up here. But we tired of our people killing each other. I right, read. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, uh -huh. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Uh -huh. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. So you must do what this Bible say, and then it's going to make thy way prosperous. Read. And then, shall have, and then thou shalt have good success. And then you're going to have good success. Give me Matthew 6 and 36. The book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 33. Read. But seek ye first the kingdom of God. Do what? But seek ye first the kingdom of God. So I just read to you in the Bible the curses. So what must a black man and Hispanic man do, bro? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. You must seek ye first the kingdom of God. You blacks and Hispanics, you must come back to God's law, statutes, and commandments. You must stop defiling your temple, smoking black of miles, and smoking cigarettes, and smoking weed, and smoking crack. Even before you want, you got to stop selling crack to your people. Everybody over there waiting to get in their homeless shelter is probably doing dope. Stop smoking dope and get up on your feet. Fix your posture. Fix your crown. And get your mind right. Read. But seek ye first the kingdom of God Read. and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. So you must seek his righteousness. Give me Deuteronomy 6 and 25. You must seek ye first the kingdom. We are in the last days. We got to get our minds right. That's why we come out to our people. We love our people, all right? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. We coming out here to show you the way. One, we was one time foolish. We was once lost. But well, we done found our way. Our way is what? We trying to get the kingdom of God. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6 and verse 25. Read. And it shall be our righteousness. It shall be what? Our righteousness. It shall be our righteousness. That's possessive. Read. If we observe to do all these commandments. We must observe. Ain't no if. Ain't no what if. If was a fifth. We must keep these commandments. Read. Before the Lord our God. For what the Lord, our God, is possessive again. He's our God and our God only. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 